Hello, good morning everyone. I hope you're all doing well. So welcome back to my channel and another vlog. This week's vlog is going to be a bit different because I'm just going to literally take you with me through my week. Obviously we're all in quarantine at the moment and there's not much that we can do. So I'm just trying to work with what I can. I just want to say as well, thank you for all of the love and messages from my last vlog it really really means a lot and i didn't expect it to have such a good response so yeah i'm really grateful for that so from next week i'm gonna start uploading two videos a week rather than one because i've got loads of ideas and obviously at the moment we're not really doing anything so it is the perfect time for me to do some videos and hopefully keep some of you entertained while we're stuck in the house. So yeah, if you haven't already, then make sure you press subscribe. Do it now while you're on the screen. And like this video as well. And I hope that you enjoy this week's vlog. Right, I'm gonna make some banana bread. I have never made banana bread before and I'm no Mary Berry. So I don't really bake. So this could go one way or the other, but we're gonna give it a go because my friend Laura made me a banana bread and it was incredible. So she's given me her recipe and I'm gonna give it a try. So first thing I have to do is use four mashed bananas. The other day I um I made some cookies and they literally it's like the ingredients like four ingredients that need to go in these cookies and I managed to mess that up so this is a bit more complex than that, so I'm gonna have to really concentrate. I'm sure this would make a pretty good hair mask, actually. We add a few more ingredients. That is well and truly mashed. Ooh. Add 75 ml of vegetable oil, 100 grams of brown sugar. These scales are broken, so. I'm actually just guessing because these scales aren't working properly. So fuck it, we'll just go with it. That's all mixed. So the next thing, 225 grams of self-raising flour. That looks like it's too much. Oh, grams of flour to cups. One cup is 120 grams of flour. Two tablespoons of baking powder. Guys, I'm really hoping that this goes right because my boyfriend doesn't have a lot of faith in me when it comes to cooking, so I really want to do this just to prove a point because he did one last week and his went really wrong, so. So I'm going to add some coconut flakes and some chia seeds. Let's hope and pray that it goes to plan. So it needs to go in the oven for 40 minutes on gas mark 6. Now I need to clean up this mess. Oh, it's looking good. Oh my God, it smells amazing. So the banana bread is done and I think it has been a success. It's a little bit brown on the top, but I think that's because I put it too low in the oven. So next time I'll put it on a higher shelf, but I'm gonna taste it now and yeah, see if it actually tastes nice, but it smells really, really good. Lord. Perfection. unreal so i'm just getting ready to go out to marks and spencers um i've already done my eyebrows because they are absolutely criminal at the moment and i literally can't wait to get them done there's just nothing i can do with them like 
they're all full but yeah so i thought i would just take you through my really really quick makeup that i've been doing so the first thing that i use is the nyx born to glow foundation so i've actually been using this in a lot of my videos recently because i just love it and i use the shade medium olive i've already moisturized by the way so i'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and then blend it all over my skin does anyone else get like really excited about putting makeup on at the moment because i've just been feeling like such a scruff all week so it's actually nice to just put some makeup on and feel a bit more human so next i'm going to use the nyx born to glow concealer so this is from the same range as the foundation and this is in the shade natural so I'm just going to pop a little bit under my eyes and then I'll just blend it in with my brush so I'm just going to pop some bronzer on and the bronzer I'm using is the Dull Beauty Give Me Sun bronzer in medium and I'm just going to pop that on because I need it because I'm so pale I'm not going to use any setting powder today just because I don't really feel like I really need it and I want my skin to look a bit more luminous rather than matte so I'm going to leave the setting powder for today. I love having like a really brown forehead so I always put loads of bronzer on my forehead so much better with bronzer on. And for blush I'm going to use my L'Oreal Life's a Peach blusher. So, I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks. This blush has got like a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not sparkly, so I really like it. I put so much blush on, but it actually looks worse on camera. In real life, it doesn't look that bright. <laughs> and then a tiny bit of highlighter, so I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy highlight. Put a tiny bit of that on. Basically put it all over my face. And then some mascara because my eyes are looking a bit bold. What an improvement mascara makes. Just makes your eyes look so much more open. I literally cannot wait to get eyelash extensions again. I will never complain about lying there for two hours ever again. I miss them so much. So for my lipstick, I'm gonna use the Barry M Lip Liner in Toast. It's probably my everyday favorite. I have to overline the shit out of my lips at the moment because I haven't had them done in such a long time. I think I might actually do like a lip filler video. So like talk about my experience with it and maybe do like a little bit of a vlog. Let me know what you think of that. Obviously, I'm not promoting lip filler, but I just think if you're going to do it, you want to know facts and also just to hear from someone who has had it done, I think it would be really helpful. So I'm just going to pop some lipstick on. This is the Doll Beauty Lipstick in Golden Girl. So I just pat it on and then rub it in. Because it's so pigmented, you don't need to like swipe it all over. You literally just pat it on and then blend it in. So that is my really quick makeup that I've been doing. I need to go and sort my hair out because it's not looking good. So I'm just going to sort of go over it quickly with the straighteners and then I'm ready to go. Is it a bit sad that it's like the highlight of my day? So yeah, I'm going to head to Marks and Spencer's now and pick up some food and also I'm going to go past my friend Lauren's house um, and grab a new Colour Wow product that I purchased off of her. So I'm really excited to try that tomorrow as well and I'll be doing a review on the Colour Wow product that I have got and also I think she's included a few other bits in there for me. So yeah, I'm excited to try those and yeah, I will keep you updated. So I'm literally wearing the world's most basic outfit. Just some jeans and a vest top. I'm just going to grab, oh my god, my nails still, haven't done them. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to grab a nice bag. I think probably this one actually. It's my like go-to 
bag and yeah i'm gonna go and do some shopping i was wearing like a little dress but i just thought it's a bit inappropriate to wear that to marks and spencers um so yeah i just put on some jeans instead and i'm wearing trainers because i haven't done my toes and i'm too embarrassed to wear flip-flops out in public so yeah My god, it's literally boiling in this car. I feel like I've forgotten how to drive, actually. I haven't driven in such a long time. It's literally been about two weeks, I think, since I last drove. And look how dark it is as well. Can't even see me. No. All right, I'm gonna go now. So I just picked up my care package from Lauren and it smells absolutely incredible so I'm really excited to try those products when I get home. So I purchased the um, Colorwell Shine Spray and also she's included in this bag some like cute little samples and a little care package so yeah and there, I think there's like lavender in there because it literally the whole car smells like lavender and I love 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 the smell of lavender. So I'm just in Marks and Spencer's car park now and I'm so glad that I came at this time because there's literally no one here. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what it's like over at Sainsbury's but yeah, here it's like there's no one around. So yeah, I'm really glad. There's someone looking at me a bit weird. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna go in now and do some shopping and yeah, I really fancy some pineapple so I'm definitely gonna grab some pineapple. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to get. I've got obviously a shopping list, but I'm really hungry. And I haven't even had lunch today and it's like three o'clock. But yeah. Anyway, I'm waffling on, so I'm gonna go. I just got back from Marks and Spencer's and I bought these. Let me know if you've tried them. I'm gonna try them now. And also, if you don't know about these biscuits, then you need to get to know because they're the best ever. Apart from that though, I didn't really get anything very exciting. Oh, I did get my pineapple as well. Oh, fuck. So I'm gonna have those now. Um, they're probably gonna sit in the sun for a bit because it's so hot today. Also, I'm gonna try these tonight um, because I am trying to slowly go vegetarian. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give these a go. I'm actually doing a video um, where I'm gonna have like a whole day being vegan. So that's gonna be my video next week. Um, I got Becca, my best friend, to write me like a vegan day diet plan. So yeah, I'll give that a go. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning and I feel hungover because I did a quiz last night on Zoom with a few friends. So yeah, I'm not feeling great today. Um, I'm gonna try my Color Wow products today. So I'm really excited to do that. I'm probably just gonna go and eat first though. And then I'm gonna um, try the products. So um, Lauren gave me a shampoo and conditioner sample and the ingredients in the shampoo and conditioner really helps to give your hair like a real good clean. Um, and I think I'm gonna then use the Dream Coat Curly, um, I think that's what it's called. So I'm not gonna straighten my hair, I'm gonna just leave it to dry naturally and see how the Dream Coat works on my curly hair. So yeah, I'm excited to try them and I'll be back once I've had a shower. So please ignore the mess behind me, but I'm just going to show you the Colour Wow products. So this is the dream coat for curly hair that I'm going to be using on my hair now, because obviously, like I said, I'm just going to leave my hair to dry naturally. So I'm going to give this a try. So I'm going to just spray loads of my hair and then scrunch it. Okay, so this is what it looks like now, and I don't know what's going on with this one. Once it's dry, I will be back and I'll show you what it looks like. So I've let my hair dry naturally, and I obviously used the Dream Coat for curly hair on it while it was wet. And I actually really, really like how it's come out because 
it's not crispy at all. You know, sometimes when you, obviously when you have curly hair and you use like a mousse or a curling cream, sometimes it can go sort of a little bit crispy, like on the ends, but literally my hair feels really, really soft. I am just gonna use the One Minute Transformation Styling Cream. So I'm gonna just pop a sort of a pea size amount on my hands and I'm just gonna pop it through my hair. This really helps with any like flyaways and frizz. Yeah, that's actually made such a difference already. I'm so glad that I actually really like these products because I've been looking for new products for such a long time and it's so hard to find products that suit curly hair and yeah, this is really, really nice. I'm gonna use some of the shine spray as well and just see how that looks on my hair too. Wow. So yeah, I'm actually really, really impressed with these products. I think my hair looks really shiny and it has defined my curls as well, which is really good considering it's like I just use one product. Um, usually to, have, to make my curls look like this, I have to use like two or sometimes three products. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with the Color Wow products and I'm definitely gonna be purchasing this one again. I love it. So I'm going to end the vlog here, I'm going to go and wash my makeup off and get into bed because I'm absolutely knackered. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog, I know it was a bit random but obviously there's not really much to do at the moment so I've kind of just been trying to film as much as I can. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video, bye!